Hey there, Dewdrops. It's Diane from Coravina. Welcome back. Happy Thursday. I hope you're having a great day wherever you are in the world. If you're in Florida or Texas or Louisiana, whoo, I hope you're having a good day somewhere safe. Um, today is Thursday and it looks like Hurricane Laura is going to be making landfall sometime soon. So I'm thinking about all you people down in Florida and Texas and Louisiana and any, anywhere where you're, you know, feeling the impact of that storm. Hope you're well. All right. So my name is Diane. This is Corvina. We're going to make a beautiful scarf today while you watch. It's going to take about 20 minutes. It's going to be awesome. I have faith. This is the one we made yesterday. It's so pretty. I love it. We had little mixes of browns and uh, rust, rusty uh, orange leaf colors for a fall scarf. And it was set against kind of a sunset sky just totally pretty and we put a ton of paint on the surface of our tray so it turned out nice and vibrant that's the way we like it around here at the coravina facebook group all right so this is what we did yesterday super pretty i'm in love with it all right we're gonna make another one today and it's gonna be awesome let me put this out of the way keep it nice and safe and clean all right so you guys are really vocal on what you wanted to see today let me look at my picture so I make sure I'm telling you the right thing here. So option number one was bright oranges and yellows set against some olive greens with some, you know, like greenery greens, some brighter greens, and then a blue sky. Okay, that's all option number one. Option number two, really dark, a lot more olives, some purple, really dark burnt reds. You guys voted for option number one by a landslide so thank you so much for voting it's gonna be awesome i think it's really beautiful and when paintings are like this and i'm like oh i love that color oh i love that color too i have trouble narrowing them all down okay so <laughs> let me show you what i got i got a lot going on here i'm not sure i'm gonna use all of them okay so starting with our greens boom okay a little bit of green will be in there the main colors are really the reds and oranges and yellows, okay, for fall. So there's a little bit of white for the tree tr the tree trunks. There's a little bit of this light blue in the sky. And believe it or not, there's a little bit of lavender on the tree trunks, which is super fun, because when you look at that picture, you don't really see the lavender, but it's there, okay? So then we come in, we've got some browns, a couple of shades of browns, you know, if we're going to use this one this was giving us some trouble yesterday or the day before yeah, maybe i don't know okay so then we've got a crazy amount of shades of orange and yellow okay we've got some rusty colors got a red here and it's going to be awesome okay the other thing that we're going to do today i'm having a very playful day here is we are going to use our little witch's broom tool. So I don't use these a lot during the lives because it's very messy. <laughs> I was messing with this want, this uh, brush beforehand and I felt like a Harry Potter character because it's very springy. Uh, this is handmade. It's a handmade brush um, from Israel, I believe. And it's horsehair and uh, rosewood handle. Okay. And it is very springy. So I flick at the, I dip the paint. I put the paint in the cup, dip the brush, and then I flick it, and the paint splatters out in little drops. And it's really satisfying to see splatters. So we're going to play with this today. Okay? All right. Let's get moving. Oh, first thing I do every time. If I don't do it, I'll be hurting. I have to clean the surface of my tray. Okay, so let me get started there. I'm going to switch it over to our dual view here so you can see what's going on. And we're going to get cleaning. All right. We're just going to drag the newspaper over the surface of the tray. And this is going to remove any dust or debris or hair or extra paint, whatever else could be resting on the surface, just waiting to mess up our water marble design. All right. So I really like how yesterday's turned out. It was super fun. I am seeing... There's not a lot of blue. There's some blue up at the top. I think I'm going to go with the mintones here. We're going to start with our mid-tones. I'm coming back to you guys. Hold on. There we go. Oh, I know. I'm so fancy with my technology. <laughs> I 
<laughs> like maybe what I keep finding out truly is ways that the technology will not work <laughs> in our scarf group. Hey, Facebook user. I can see a Facebook user. Sorry, guys. I'm not calling you out by your name. And that's really sad uh, for me. So we might change that in the future. I don't know. We're just playing around. All right. So let's get started. Okay. I'm going to start with this wild yellow. We're going to do the same thing we always do. We're going to go straight down the middle of the tray. Going to try and go one drop at a time. And let's come in with a little bit of orange here. This is going to be a fun, wild, and free kind of scarf. All right. My camera, I laughed when you said technology because my camera was connected to the ceiling for like a week and it fell off like five times. So I need a better solution than what I've got right now. Okay. So let's start the flicking, shall we? Okay. So I've got paint on my brush and we're going to just start tap, tap, tapping away. Okay. You can see our little flecks start to spread out as I try and not decorate my whole studio with little flex. So I'm gonna refill my cup up here and I'm gonna use the same color cup, like the same red, and I think that's gonna be just fine. I'll put some of this corally color in here. It's like a blood orange. This'll be a fun one. I almost just squirted that all over me. Oh well. Okay, nice and orange. Let's go just some splatter around here. I do feel like Ollivander though. My Harry Potter people will understand that. It is 11 inch rosewood with a springy feel. I don't know what the core is. Womp womp, Harry Potter joke. All right, so I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna give this a little couple taps up here. This is called the stone pattern. This is how it's traditionally done by flicking paint onto the surface of the water. It is super fun. I like to use the dropper method though. It's less messy and you are able to be more precise, but really whatever floats your boat when it comes to water marbling. There's so many different people who do it so many different ways and it's all beautiful to watch and that's why I love it so much. Okay, so I'll set this guy aside here. I think I am gonna have to get a new, new cup of paint after that one. That was a lot going on there. So I'm gonna come in with my little bottles and do some paint up here with these, I think. We'll go out and around, give you some figure eights here. super relaxed. The one thing I really like about the brushes is that you get all kinds of fun little marbles. I think they're beautiful. All right. I'm going to go ahead and add in some of our blue for the sky. Not a ton, just a little bit. And then we'll drop over top of that there. We're going to do the same thing for our garden path and our greenery that has not yet died for the fall, right? You guys starting to feel fall a little bit? A clip, no tape on the camera. I know, Laura, I need to go to the hardware store. I think that's what it is. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm gonna have time. My kids are starting school on Monday. I have very much mixed feelings about this. So in case you guys don't know, I have a second grader who I'm not worried about at all. <laughs> He's doing awesome. He's such a good boy. He's a rule follower. Um, I have a kindergartner who is a good girl, but not a rule follower. And uh, kindergarten is going to be a fun experience for everyone involved. Me and the teacher. <laughs> so, you know, I think af after we get through the first week, I'm going to be so excited about the extra time that I have on my hands. So 
Um, but this leads me to the Princess Week that we're having next week. Did you guys see my pinned post? I put it up as an announcement. Next week, I'm announcing our theme early. We're going to have Princess Week, and it's going to be awesome. Okay, so I want you guys to go into the page and select what princess theme scarfs you want to see. Okay, so I'm going to take probably the top five uh, choices, and we're going to make scarfs based on these princesses all next week. Okay, so I, what I'm considering doing is filming them and then uh, playing the finished versions for you um, at five o'clock. And I'm thinking about doing this just because it's really difficult um, to be home at five every day. It's getting harder and harder. And I always knew we were going to have to make adjustments to this as we were going along. So I still want to make scarves with you because I think that is awesome and I really love it and I don't want to stop. But we're going to try and alternate it. Uh, we're going to try and do it in an alternative way this week. See if we can't do some pre-recorded scarves. Oh man, I'm flicking this everywhere. So I'll let you know how it goes, but that's why we're announcing it early. Okay, I'm gonna add some more yellow over top of our blue. It's, got a, it's really blue heavy up in the top here now. I'm gonna go everywhere with it. Maybe we'll bring it down into the green a little bit too. It's very abstract day here at Coravina. Very Jackson Pollocky. I love, love, love it. All right, let me take a pic. Let me take a peek at our at our picture here. I think we've got a lot more. Um, how about that? I've got somebody at my front door, and I have no idea who it is. And my children better not open that door. Hmm. We're gonna add some red in here. I think we're missing some red. I wish that I had a mute button on my microphone so I could tell them not to open the front door. You're gonna hear me yell if it, that door opens. All right, so we're dropping our red in. I know, baby, and I cannot talk to him right now, so thank you for telling me. Should I go to him just for seconds? No, because you cannot open the door for strangers. Just go back to what you were doing. Okay, if he's still there, I'll talk to him when I'm done, okay? You did. Okay. Well, he's an adult. He'll understand. Don't open the door, please. All right. See, my rule follower, he's a good boy. All right, guys. We got a lot of paint on this tray, and I have not given one thought to how we're going to maneuver it with tools, but I think that's what we're going to do today. Okay. So, let me take a peek at our picture again. Hmm. It's very olive -y. There's a lot of olive. Maybe I'll add a little bit more. It's not really an olive, I guess. No, do not open the door. Gage, just stay down here, okay, bud? I have no idea who this guy is or what he wants. I'm sure that it is really not that important. It was obviously stressing Gage out. All right, so I'm back with you guys. Let me find you. We're gonna start using our tool today. I'm gonna move this around and see what we've got. Hmm. All right, you can see our tool dragging the paint in the water and we got a different design here. I think we're gonna do a chevron today. All right, we're gonna bring in our secondary tool here. We go nice and slow. Gonna run into a hang up here and just keep on going. Oh, 
Okay, so I think now we're going to use our hand stylus and we are just going to do some swiggles back and forth. Nice and slow. We're going to give it a little bit of texture here because this is really a rigid kind of scarf and our picture is so abstract. I love these impressionist pictures. I read, I think I told you guys earlier in the week that I read an explanation that said impressionist impressionism is like when you look at a picture for 20 seconds and then you draw it as you remember it. It has a lot of vibrant colors in it. It's just fun. All right, we're almost done here. It's very abstract. I'm not sure it looks so much like the picture, but I like what I see. All right, so we are gonna dip this scarf down. We're gonna see what we've got. I think it's gonna be pretty. All right, guys, I'm gonna lower it down. Think some good thoughts for me. Oh, my phone is in the way. I'm gonna bang it again. All right, here we go. I'm all out of sorts because some dude is at my door and I don't know what he needs. We don't get visitors. Like we get solicitors, but I don't know what he wants. All right, guys. I know, good job, they're good listeners. They're probably making faces at him through the door, so he probably doesn't know what to think. All right, we're taking our scarf off of the frame here. All right, let's pull the scarf out of the water and see what we've got. It's going to be awesome. Ready? Ooh, you can see our blue up at the top. You can see some dripping and running. That's totally normal. Ooh, this is gonna be pretty. Let me put it in the rinse bucket here. All right, guys. So what happens next? I'm gonna dry this scarf and then I'm gonna post pictures in the Facebook group that you should be a part of if you're not a part of already. And then I'm gonna post pictures on Instagram and then link it back in the YouTube profile later, okay? So definitely check back, see what we're gonna make. And I'll be back to make one more cool scarf with you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye. Have a great weekend. Be safe if you're from Florida or Texas or Louisiana. All right. Bye, guys. Live colorfully.